Hello everybody, Snow Matrix back again with part 2 of my Pennine Way adventure. Can I just ask anyone that's new to my channel to humour me and subscribe if you like what I'm sharing? Thank you. This is from Hebden Bridge to the campsite at Polden Mills, about 19 and a half miles. Hello everyone, start of day 4. Leaving Hebden Bridge on the Hebden Bridge Loop get myself back onto the Pennine Way. A lovely stay in this little town. Supposedly it's the fourth most funkiest town in the world. I can see why. Brilliant architecture, <laughs> really quirky. Unbeknown at the time, I was actually walking the wrong way. I ended up walking about four miles up the Rochdale Canal before I realised my mistake. That's why I told you, I don't wear shorts. <laughs> Overgrown path now. Really glad to be leaving the outskirts of Hebron Bridge. Just a word of warning, if you do the loop and come out of Hebron Bridge, you have to navigate because there's like loads of different paths there's loads of different way marks and you go through little kind of forgotten places really beautiful but it's really it's like a rat run of little houses and cottages and farms and you've got to, you know you think you're walking through people's gardens <laughs> and everything but yeah there is footpaths there Heading towards Hob Hebel Hole now. Uh, it's a scorcher today, blazing sunshine. This is why in my Pennine Way kit video, I said I was leaving behind my Paramount. <laughs> and as someone said in the comments, they were keeping their fingers crossed for me. <laughs> but uh, when nature does what she's supposed to do in July, it's hot. <laughs> you might get one or two days which are you might, that parana, parama might have come in useful, but nah. The Gore-Tex pack light jacket has been fine for those colder days and the rain. Uh, I know someone did say in the comments that they were, again, had bad experience with pack light and uh, they were crossing their fingers for me. Nah, mate, you needn't have worried. Nothing wrong with pack light, especially from a top brand like Mountain Hardware. <laughs> open country again. Just had a little rest stop at the Aladdin's Cave. World famous lady <laughs> on the Pennine Way there. Been there since the start I think. <laughs> but I think it was the original lady in there because she was quite young but very famous stop off. Don't miss it. <laughs> ah, it's good to be back out on the moorland again after those overgrown paths coming out of Hebden Bridge on the Hebden Bridge Loop. The whole moors are open in front of me now. I think that's Hebstead Moor. Hello everybody. This is what it's all about. <laughs> Enjoying the coke. And these beautiful surroundings. I'm on a blazing hot day. Cheers. <laughs> This is the Warshaw Dean Middle Reservoir. I don't know if this one is on Leslie's Adventures Reservoir Walks, but if it's not, it should be, Leslie. Beautiful day today. I don't know what this is down there. Some kind of old canal or, or water transfer system, I think. But if I'm walking across this path, or along this path. It's around four o'clock now. So as you can see, it is some kind of water overflow system or something. Pretty ancient. Not enough water to go down there. It's always nice to stop and look back 
just see how far you've come today. It's really idyllic here. All alone out here. I'm surprised how few people I've met along this way. I thought it would be really popular, but it's it's a lonely walk. That's great, really. I love that kind of stuff. This is Top Wivens. Apparently, it inspired Emily Bronte's 1847 novel, Wuthering Heights. I don't know about that. But that's what it says on the plaque here. Yeah. Enough. After going round the corner and after saying how lonely this walk had been so far, there was about 50 schoolgirls and their teacher occupying this place. <laughs> nice campsite at Polder Mills. Done about 19 and a half miles today. Uh, this is what's so nice about this tent. When the weather's nice, just open it out. It's like you're outside, but you're inside. <laughs> Brilliant. So today, the start of day five, I went from Polden Mills to the campsite at Gargary. Apologies, because I've really pronounced that wrong all in the video. Uh, about 18 miles. It was also the day that the animals of the Pennine Way decided to say hello. Hey everyone, start of day four, I think. Or was it day five? I've forgotten. But I had a stay at Pond and Mill, a nice basic campsite. All you need really toilet, shower, somewhere to put your tent, free cup of tea on arrival, nice um, stream side camping spot. Back on the Pennine Way. Pleasant morning for the sheep and the lambs. And I'm way up that way. Thank you very much. Back into open country again. This is absolutely beautiful out here. Nice, another hot day, but there's a bit of a wind. It's a beautiful air conditioning. Fantastic. Just thought I'd show you this, because some people have been asking about this anchor power core. On days like this, this will easily keep my phone at 100% charge. Both my power banks are fully charged, so there's no point charging them. <laughs> so, when it's sunny in Britain, this anchor power cord is brilliant. I can't recommend it highly enough. Today it's forecast for continuous sunshine, so my phone will be at 100% all the time, even when using the GPS and everything. That's okay. Don't bother getting up on my account, madam. Apparently, there's a killer dog on the loose around here. I think he only goes after sheep, but you never know. I walk on with trepidation. <laughs> so, I'm approaching 
trig point at Pinha Beacon, 388 meters above sea level. Seems I've been spotted by some kind of bird of prey there, maybe, I don't know. It's got a long beak and it's seems to be circling me looks like I have sheep occupying my way ahead hey. Coming through, mates. Nah. Come too far to turn around. Go on. Come on. Back. Come on. Back. Back. Come on, boy. Just reverse. Hey. Well, take your time, mates. I've got all day. <laughs> All's well that ends well. Eventually, the sheep managed to reverse all the way out. <laughs> On the canal path now few more miles to the final destination for tonight, big village of Gavari and the campsite, I hope. <laughs> Interesting bridge here, this is Leeds 38 and a quarter miles. It's been endless, I mean endless farmers fields quite tricky some places a couple of friendly farmers showed us the way because there's they've plowed up all the fields and sometimes it's not obvious where the path is but generally i'm keeping to the edges of the fields but i'm pretty sure now once i get through this one and the next one i'll be able to see Gav gavari i'm only about a mile away a civilization campsite Maybe a fish and chip shop. <laughs> Finally, Galvary. <laughs> That's probably not how you pronounce it, but <laughs> who cares? <laughs> Made it to Galvary campsite. Got my Savaloy and chips. I got this beautiful green manicured lord all to myself. Fantastic. <laughs> So today was a nice easy rest day, just 8 miles from the campsite at Galgary to Malham. Beginning of day 6, just leaving Gar Gravy, there we see, I think I just passed a sign back down there, Edel 70 miles. So. 70 miles done, but uh, I took a bit of a detour, so I've probably done about 78. <laughs> Onwards, another 200, say. So <laughs> According to the guidebook, it's a nice, easy day today. It's about six or seven miles to Malham, there's a campsite and stuff there. The book advises to take a short day today and explore the, camp the countryside around Malham, because the next day, going on to the high fells and some interesting places
actually in the Yorkshire Dales now. This is the Yorkshire Dales National Park, left behind the Peak District and the big cities of Manchester and well, <laughs> and around Manchester. <laughs> Sheffield, that's the, that's the city I was looking for. <laughs> nice easy eight mile day into Malham at the campsite here. I'll show you inside the tent, see how much space this is, is in this Luna Solo, plenty of space. So I've got an X bed sin mat, the tapered one. I've got that's my sleeping bag there. Inside its bag, the Rab Neutrino 200. Well, that's about all you need for summer. You keep. To your side of the fence, mate. Hey, you ain't coming over here. I said I don't do nothing for you. I'm not going to make a habit of this. 